Hello lovely butterflies, welcome back for this new vlog. This week was a bit different because I had a sick kiddo in the house so just taking out my camera and starting to vlog on a daily basis was not an option because of all the running around from sick kiddo to my studio and back and forth. So I decided to show you a couple of completely different things like how I am getting completely spoiled by my patrons which I am very grateful for. And also why I very often say, if it's not in my planner, it's not happening. Tuesday morning. The day is already well on its way because I had to take care of my sick little boy before heading off and commute to my office. And then I thought it might be a fun idea to show you my commute. Um, brace yourself. I need to cover myself up first because it's snowing and then we're heading out. I am still in our dining room. The fireplace is burning because it is cold outside. Yes, the Christmas tree is still up uh, because we just love it that way. And let's head out to the offices. <music> Offices. This is the house, and that is my commute. say anything I think we're being followed yes we are look who's following me he's commuting too he's trying to be super duper silent like he's not here <laughs> I'm sitting in my robes but I promise it's not it's just a warm sweater because it's still freezing cold outside I wanted to go over a thing that is very close to my heart, which are my planners. If you've looked at um, one of my Facebook Hangouts, you might have heard about it because I've already mentioned it before. I am a planner girl, planner woman, planner lady, planner llama, however you want to call it. I am a member of the planner community. And yes, I am going to PlannerCon Europe in May. So if you're coming, I will just be there as a visitor and you see me, just come over and say hi. Uh, but that's still a long way to go. For now, my planners, they're um, of a huge value to me because if it's not written in my planner, it's not happening. And sometimes even if it's written in my planner, it's not happening either. But that's a different discussion. That means that I will have to write it over and over and over again until it does happen. The most important planner that I use all the time is this one. This is my Erin Condren with, of course, my personalized cover. Uh, it's a vertical one. I am not going to show you how I use it because that is still my secret garden, but this is how it looks when it's not used. And I'm just gonna give you a quick view of how it looks when it is used. There you go, and it's gone. 
Uh, so yes, I use um, planner stickers, I use washi, I use the whole thing in my planner and it makes me happy because it's something completely different than what I do for my job. It's relaxing, it helps me get organized and I just love it. So um, this one contains all my information and one of the things that my youngest son liked to do is to ask mom what did we have for dinner on October 25th 2017 because yes it's all in there um, it's my diary it's my gratitude log it's my to-do list for tomorrow it's my everything if I lose this one I lose my brain and well everything's lost another one that I use very often because I always have it with me is this one this is just a moleskin but yes it has a Harry Potter print on it the Marauders map as you can see wouldn't I make a very good salesperson um, this is just a regular week to week thingy which I like to use uh, because when I have to write down an appointment for a week that is not yet set up in my regular Erin Conlon planner, I can easily write it down in here. Appointments to do uh, stuff that is too far away to yet put in my regular planner. It just goes in here and then I can just keep track of it. The third planner, did I mention I use a lot of planners? The third planner is this one and this is a Rhodia notebook dotted one and this contains all the information uh, concerning my team and my work. So for example if I have an idea for a new product that I need to jot ideas for down it goes in here. Uh, the planning of my team works go in here. For example we have the alert prompts which I don't want to show you too close because I don't want you to read them already for um, the first six months of 2019 which I have worked out with my team um, they all go in here um, social media planning goes in here so this too is a very valuable book if a planner is no longer valuable I don't longer use it and then the last one and I'm very proud of myself because this year I took it down to four planners instead of five but brace yourself because it is a big boy it's this one it's the maker's yearbook by Nicola Taylor it helps me set my goals it helps me review my months it helps me plan my months and stuff to come um, so I don't use it on a daily basis I use it on a weekly basis um, I can show you it's it is so big like here we have the September uh, month end review which is then followed by the October planning um, it really helps me to keep things real to be realistic about what it is I'm doing um, to set goals in a realistic way and to stop procrastinating because yes I am very able at being a procrastinator so those are my planners what about you what is your go-to thing that you like to use on a daily basis except for makeup and stuff like that um, what helps you keep things real and organized in your life I'm curious let me know in comments to this video <music>how my patrons spoil me in the best possible way. First of all, there's these two. Abby, you made me cry. Thank you. Uh, this is washi tape, which I use in one of the planners that I showed you. And it happens to be Harry Potter washi tape. And this one has the exact same quote that I have on my tattoo. That's how well my patrons know, know me. And this one, well, is related to this one and has all the Patronuses on them. Another person, another patron I need to thank is Helen because this week I received another package that moved me in an incredible way. Again, Harry Potter mail. I mean, how spoiled can one be? So there is this Harry Potter card deck which of course my kids already wanted to use but there's no way that this one is getting used it's it's way too i mean i mean no no these cannot get harmed in it well this one this one could get harmed i don't care about that one but all the others they could not get harmed in any way not possible so that is one 
then there's also these two sets of stamps. So, this happened today. Do you recognize all of these? They used to be in my studio. And today, thanks to my wonderful guy, these are leaving for the container park. Bye-bye. Sunday the weather is just horrible. I think these are the first couple of minutes where we don't have any rain. Sick kiddo is back to his dad's place. Big kiddo is off to his weekend job. Joe is working on an event. So I thought I'm going to head out to my dad and say hi. Now, fingers crossed that he will allow me to film a couple of things in his house because he's an artist too and I would like to tell you more about it. Fingers crossed. These three pieces are done by my dad. They are from 2003. Um, he started somewhere in 93, 94, I think. And well, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love these pieces. These are three other pieces. So as you can see, he works in completely different styles as long as it's stone. And this is another one of my favorites. And this is a more contemporary one that he did. So yeah, my dad is an artist. Cats don't make dogs as they say. These are done by Mimi, who is my stepmom and who dabs into mixed media as well. I wish I could show you just how much texture there's in there. <laughs> 